This video tutorial will show you how to post your podcast to the Black Talk Radio Network. Um, I'm assuming that you have already entered the ID3 tags or your metadata into your podcast, which is very important. Uh, but once you have done your internet radio program and you saved your podcast, or perhaps you don't do live streaming, but you do create podcasts. So one, the next step that you want to do is go ahead and turn your promo into a podcast. So this is a political prisoner radio, a live program that I do and I help produce and co-host. And so now I want to uh, upload the podcast so that now when people come to the page, they will be able to listen to the past program. So what I want to do is go ahead and, and edit it. So I'm going to go down here, click on edit. I can also access it through the back end. So there are a number of ways I could do this to upload my podcast. I could just go to uh, media and add new. And then once I upload it to the network, go ahead and get the URL or the web address of the podcast and then uh, post the uh, podcast. But what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and just upload it straight from the post. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of this stuff right here because it's no longer a live program. All right, now I could post anywhere on the page. Just put the cursor. Doesn't mean that's where the podcast is going to be. Then I want to hit Add Media. Once that window opens up, go ahead and click on Upload Files. Now, as you can see, we have set the maximum upload file size to 99 megabytes. Now, if you are producing podcasts and um, that are above that there will be uh, there is another video that shows you how to use a piece of free software to go ahead and reformat that mp3 and reduce the file size but you should you should already be producing smaller file sizes and I'm gonna tell you the reason why is because if somebody wants to download your podcast um, a lot of times people don't want to download huge files they take a little longer than you know normal um, a smaller file and you know it's just good practice now I always say my podcast at 64 kilobytes that's the same that I live stream at that's CD quality alright you don't need anything higher than CD quality alright so now what I want to do is go ahead and select the file from my computer that I want to upload So I'm going to go to the folder where my podcast is. And I want to click on it and highlight it. And just to show you from if you watch the other video on how to add MP3 files, as you can see, all my ID3 tags have been embedded. As you can see here, it gives the information. It also embeds the photo so that when people download it and play it, it'll show your logo or whatever you know photo you want to embed. So now I want to go ahead and upload that. And while that uploads, I'm I am going to go ahead and pause the video and then I'll pick back up once the podcast has been uploaded. Okay, now we have uploaded the podcast. As you can see, again, this is why it's important to um, put in your ID3 tags or your metadata. As you can see, that's already populated here. Now, what I could do 
is I could use the uh, JW player to insert the podcast into the page, but um, I'm not going to do that. And the only reason we still have that enabled is because we have years worth of podcasts that use that player. And if I remove it from the website, then it'll remove that player from those uh, posts. And I don't want to do that. But now we do it a different way. All you have to do is copy the URL. You want to hold down the cursor, left click, hold it down, and highlight that portion there. Or you can also right click and select all. Well, it's not going to let you do that. So you're going to have to hold down your cursor, left clicking, holding it down while you highlight that portion there. Then you can right click and copy. You can also hit Control. C on your uh, keypad and then that way you can also copy it there so now that I have that what I'm going to do is just X out of here let me fix that back now what you're going to do is go down to the podcast episode where it says media URL now we have already formatted this to use formatted the network to use the free statistical reporting service called pod track so it's going to embed the tracking code that it needs and so you do need to set up your own pod track account if you want to get those statistics and it provides uh, detailed statistics and I'll produce another video tutorial on how to get an account and how to add um, your feed, your RSS feed from Black Talk Radio Network for your podcast uh, for or your program. So, you want to put the cursor there. You want to paste it there. Now you want to verify the URL. Media has been verified. You can pretty much just leave everything at the defaults. Uh, it's talking about adding meta marks, but you've already added your metadata. So now all we have to do is just go up here and click update. Now let's go ahead and view the post. And it is going to always embed the podcast at the top of the post above, you know, your graphics and your other uh, information. You can see here. It's always going, you can't move this in its, you know, standard practice and recommend it uh, that the podcast be the first thing on the page. All right. Because it's a podcast, you want people to listen and they can read, you know, the rest of the information at the bottom. And so uh, what we're using now is a plug in that embeds this media player. It also allows uh, people to play it in a new window. So, you know, they might want to lead a site, but they want to listen to the uh, program or the podcast and close out that window. So, you know, you click there, it opens up. Then it starts. They can also download it. So when they click on download, it opens up. Um, and they can also embed it. And so if you have your own blog as well or website, you can go ahead and, and click on embed, get that information and then post the podcast on your website or your blog just to increase your distribution. It also gives, you know, your listeners an opportunity to share your information on their blogs, and all of that will be tracked through the podtrack.com uh, podcast statistics. So um, make sure you check out that video on how to do that. All right. Thank you for watching.